Hey gang, in this video, we'll dig into how cross filters work in Salesforce reports. On this screen, I have an accounts report that just shows all of the accounts in my system. Let's open the report builder. The filter pane is where you set your logic and tell Salesforce which records to pull into your report results, typically based on field data. Cross filters are just another way to set that logic, but based on an object's related childhood records. So if you have an accounts report, cross filters will let you filter your account results based on data in cases, activities, opportunities, or other child objects that sit underneath your account records. And by the way, when I say sits underneath, what I'm really talking about here are objects that sit on the child side of a parent-child relationship. Those are determined by the master detail or lookup fields that sit on that child object. So in the case of our accounts example, accounts sit on the parent side, while cases and opportunities sit on the child side. But okay, getting back on track. Let's say I have a report of all accounts in my system. I want to see accounts that have cases, which for those who don't know, cases typically represent issues or requests submitted to the customer service team or whatever might be the equivalent at your organization. To show only the accounts that have cases, let's add a cross filter. I'll click this little arrow button here and then click add cross filter. Here's where I set the requirements for my cross filter. So I want to show accounts with cases. Okay, let's run the report. So as you can see, my report results have gotten smaller. That's because our report is only showing account records that have cases attached, which you can see if I open an account and go to the cases related list. Okay, now let's take a quick step back. Our report is showing accounts that have cases, but what I really care about are accounts that have open cases, meaning open issues or requests that haven't yet been resolved by my organization. Let's add a filter within our cross filter to specify that we only wanna show accounts with open cases. Back to the report builder we go. Now in our filter pane, you can see that we have the option to add a filter for our related cases. Let's add a filter that only shows cases that are open. So to show cases that are open, we want this closed Boolean field, AKA this checkbox to be false. All right, let's save and run again. And now you can see that our list is even smaller because now our report is only showing accounts that have open cases. All right, gang. So using cross filters to show records that have certain child records is kind of the easy part. Let's talk about the second option in our cross filter that allows us to use a without operator instead of the with operator. Now that I've changed my cross filter, take a second and think about what this report is probably showing. If you guess that it's going to show accounts that don't have any case history, you'd be correct. Let's see this in the report results, just to make sure. So as you can see, using the without operator actually excludes all of the accounts in our database that have related cases. Now let's go back into the report builder and try one other thing. 
Remember that we set our cases filter earlier to only consider open cases. Let's set up that same filter again and see what happens. Now can you guess what our cross filter is going to do to our report results? Now our report is going to show accounts without any open cases. So that includes accounts that don't have any case history whatsoever, but it also includes accounts that may only have closed cases attached. So as you can see, a lot of the same accounts from our last report run are pulling in here, accounts that don't have any cases. But there are a few examples of accounts that only have closed cases related. This is where cross filters can get a little tricky for people who are just starting out with Salesforce reports. So keep in mind that when you're using cross filters and filters within your cross filters, you're basically able to do one of three things. You can either include records in your report results that have a specific set of child records. You can exclude results that have a specific set of child records. Or you can exclude results that contain any child records whatsoever. So if you feel like you kind of get it, I'd really recommend you watch this video again. And just know that you'll get a lot better with this as you practice using cross filters in your Salesforce reports. And by the way, if you're wondering why our report results are only showing accounts and nothing to do with cases, that's because cross filters don't determine which fields are visible in a report. And they also don't determine which objects are visible in a report. That falls entirely on the report type you select when you're first building your report. So if we wanted to see a report that showed both account data and case data, we wouldn't use a cross filter to do that we'd actually use a cases report type. And there you have it, gang. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you still have any questions. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.